Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. Transmission noise can come in various forms and can stem from certain components within the transmission. Diagnostics is real important when you're dealing with noise to make sure that you don't waste time or money. Drivability is certainly one test as well as running a car on a rack to determine where the noise is coming from. Uh, for instance, if you had a noise that uh, was there in park and neutral as well as driving down the road, however, when you put it into gear setting still, the noise goes away, could be an indication of the gear train making noise. A pump, for instance, would make a noise continuously. And the question is, what type of noise? You can have a whine or a moan, groaning sound, or in the case of the 6R80, you could actually have a bearing growl. Uh, when 6R80, 6R60s were first produced, they were produced with not a bushing, but actually a cage bearing. And when this would go bad, you would not get a normal type of sound that you would out of a, uh, a regular type of pump. Later on, Ford decided to change this and they went from a bearing over to a bushing type pump, uh, which you'll see photos of. But in conjunction with that, they switched over to traditional flats that Ford had always used. So when you get a vehicle in that's got a noise and you think it's a pump, uh, you have to determine the type of noise that it's making to see if it is this bearing that's causing uh, causing the condition, and if you have to rebuild the transmission, you'll switch over to a bushing type. Uh, this is even a problem with electrolysis. When you have bad grounds, uh, you can get a lot of arcing in a needle bearing uh, that you won't get with a bushing. So if you build a transmission and you suspect that this is causing a noise, make sure you, you replace it. Uh, we're going to be putting the part numbers of the different uh, types of pumps on the screen. Make sure of what you're dealing with, that this is making the noise, and switch to the newer design, whether it's got uh, drive lugs or flats. And one other thing, if you're getting a torque converter rebuilt, always check with your converter rebuilder as to the hub that goes on this converter. Obviously, when you have a bushing that's in a pump, whether it's a Babbitt or bronze bushing, the hub does not have to be super hard. When you're running a bearing type like this, the Rockwell, the hardness of that hub has to be up to prevent premature wear. So always check with the converter rebuilder to make sure of the hub that they're using on their 6R60, 6R80 converter setup. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.